evaluate functions. Extreme examples. What am I doing? You've seen the evaluated numbers. Um, and shapes even. This is along the shape side. So let's go and get to our first example. Yeah. All right. So I got that function G. What up, G? I see. That's going to be minus x squared plus 4x plus 4. That doesn't matter much more than what I want to evaluate it at. Yeah. So I want to evaluate this at P. Oh, so I'm going to put a P in. Wherever I see an x, I'm now going to put a P. Oh, we. All right. So then that's a square right there. Then I'm going to add it to a 4 times. That's a P right there. And then um, add that 4 to it. Sure. All right. Could I clean it up? Absolutely. That's minus P squared plus 4P plus 4. Sure. And then what? You're done. That's it. All I wanted to do was evaluate that at P. So pulling no P's, let's go see our second example. <gasps> Whoa. Bam. Now, here we go. I see. They give me this F. What the F? That F um, is minus 4x plus 1. Fun. But what do they want me to do? They want me to evaluate it at the opposite of x. I know it's a little bit confusing when they use the same variable, but just think that it's the opposite of that x. So everywhere I go and I see an x, I'm now going to put, wait for it, a minus x. Yes, I'm just replacing the x with a minus x, and then that still add that 1. Now, when I clean this up, it's minus minus make mass. So I'm going to call it 4x plus 1. So what it do? I took the opposite of x. I was actually, this is going to come up later when you talk about different kinds of symmetries and some other places in math. So, hey, it's not completely useless. And something else, yeah. This one over here, sure. Woo! Yeah, the function is like that one over there, but this one's minus 2x plus 6, 6. So I want to go and evaluate it at u plus k. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a u plus k, say. So that's a minus 2 times, wait for it, wait for it. There's an x, so I'm going to put a u plus k. Okay, so why do you write it in that way? Yeah, all right, so, um... When you were presented with this problem, they probably used an x right there and an x right there, but like over there when you uh, saw the minus x and it got you all like confused. So uh, what did I did? It in? I just changed it to any other letter, but um, they probably had an x right there because they were like x plus k or x plus h. They're trying to get you ready for the difference quotient, but that's some difference later. Now, what do we see here? Ooh-wee! This should have been equal to a minus 2 so that it looked just like that, where I was replacing that x and that x. I can go ahead, I can clean it up a little bit, or I can be done right here. So let's call it a minus 2x plus 2k plus 6. And this was on the predicate that uh, I was using my x right there. Yeah, so it went here, it went there, and I'm done. Done. I missed this sign. It should have been a minus 2. 